Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. My name's uh, Ted Hill, and uh, I have several friends who are uh, lean towards the right politically and uh, Republican. And I think uh, one of the issues that comes up a lot is government spending and the huge waste in government. And uh, I, I agree. And I just, I think I, my preference would be that we could uh, be totally objective <laughs> and stuff that really seems like it's off the wall uh, could try. And I think one thing that's happening in Afghanistan is they're, they're trying some empathy there in some of the villages and they're just sitting and being with villages and villagers and kind of empathetically being with them and seeing what they want. And uh, I would like to, I think this is, if we could be objective and look at that and say, okay, let's, is this working and how much does it cost? <laughs> And uh, I suspect that it would work and that uh, it would be way, way, way cheaper and save us a ton of money to do programs with, that use empathy. So empathy actually uh, is less expensive. Way less expensive, yeah. And it would be a great way to uh, cut back on government spending. I think the same thing could happen in the prison system as well is we could empathetically listen to people, uh, particularly uh, uh, children uh, and, and adolescents, uh, so that they don't act out in ways that end up being very, very expensive. And it's, you know, the prison system is very expensive. The military system is very expensive. The, not just the prison system, but the whole nine yards. The uh, police and um, the damage that's caused, uh, you know, it goes on and on. You know, same with war. <laughs> it's just very, very expensive. So, so, is that empathy like a real value too? Is it something that's very important? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's uh, people love to be listened to, especially if there's real intensity. It's, it's extremely important, and in places like Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Iraq, there's a lot of intensity going on there. And uh, if people could feel like they're listened to, then they're more likely to listen back. They're less likely to act out. Uh, people make up all kinds of stories about the other side. <laughs> and if the other side is just listening, there's not as much chance of a negative story. Whereas if killing, violence happens, not only does that incident happen, but it, it regurgitates future violence because people want to, want to get back, they don't think it's fair, they have all kinds of things about why it's wrong, and maybe, you know, who knows. Uh, and people make up things that aren't necessarily true. But, um, this is what happens in violent places. <laughs> Have you personally saved money with empathy? Have I personally saved money? I uh, would say yes in a kind of a roundabout way. I, I have had relationships with women. I haven't had been in the victim thing. I think because I'm a good listener and uh, at least partly because of that, and uh, as a result, I haven't had of situations where I've been victimized and, and uh, relationships that don't work end up costing a huge amount of money. Uh, and, uh, and I haven't had it, luckily. So uh, I'd love to see us save money in government, just like the, just like the right wing says. <laughs> and in personal relationships. And in so. personal relationships too. too. So, uh, yeah. How did, anyway. how did empathy become important to you? Do you remember kind of a story or something that happened yeah. that uh, you kind of learned a lesson about it or you said, oh, this is really important? Well, I've always felt that uh, listening was an extremely, probably almost as more important than assertiveness. Uh, and I thought that communication was always very, very important. Well, should I say always? 
I would say I probably re didn't realize that so much until college and, and, and my 20 something years. And uh, yeah, and, and worked on assertiveness quite a bit, but then realized that I thought that, that uh, listening skills were pretty big in when there's disagreements. <laughs> Was there something that happened where you kind of came to that realization? Um, hmm. Was there something that happened? Uh, no, I'd say it was more of a gradual thing. Yeah, I did have a uh, relationship where the other person was very much willing to to hear my point of view and very much wanted her point of view too. But she was good at, at uh, hearing, and and uh, I am too. And I, I thought because of that we had good support. Hmm, what would it be like a metaphor? Um, a mirror, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's shining back. You know, here's me. Oh yeah, I'm like that too. You know, <laughs> or I've had a similar thing. It it uh, really helps to make people feel safe in in sharing who they are. Yeah. And what would be the opposite of empathy? Um, blame. You know, finding blame, judgment. Um, yeah.